Um, hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a December favorites video. I love doing favorites videos and I'm trying to stay on track because I did one last month and so I'm like, let's see if I can do this again. I'm going to try. So I'm doing it. So yeah, so um, let's just jump right into the video because I feel like favorites videos always turn out to be so damn long and I try so hard to keep it not that long, but I have a lot of favorites. So yeah, let's do that. Cool. <laughs> What is first? What is first? I'm not used to myself with a dark lip. I never do dark lips, like, ever. I always do that nude, I always do that nude and, like, pinky, soft kind of color. I stay away from colors like this, but you know what? I want to branch out, you know? Show you guys that I wear other colors, too. I still want to, um, I still want to be diverse. <sighs> so, yeah, that's why I'm wearing this. It is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Dahlia. That's one thing to think Okay, cool. So let's get into it. Mm. So before we get started, I just want to do an honorable mention. Or like, kind of an honorable mention. I think it's kind of cool. So basically this brand called like CM Direct or so something like that. Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave it linked down below. They hit me up and they're like, hey, like, can we send you clothes from our company to like see, like, see if you like them kind of thing. And I was like, yes, you can send me clothes. No brand has ever asked me to send me clothes before. So I was like, yes, please. This is my size. Send it. It's like, you know when you go on eBay and you can like buy like little knickknacks from Japan? Basically, this is like a store that has that. So my jacket is from there. They sent this to me. It's a little jacket. Looks like that. And yeah, they sent me a bunch of little clothes. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got, kind of. I wanted to... <laughs> I had to. I got two pairs of underwear. These like bright. You won't be able to see me in this, but I just want to show you anyway. And then I also got these blue ones. This looks like a speedo, kinda. I'll wear it into the pool. So they sent me sweats too. Like, look at this. Look at this damn color. I love this color. So thank you to that brand for sending me those things. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I'll leave a link down below what um, the brand is and the link to their site. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so the next item, um, we're gonna start like last time. I started with something with skincare. So this time I'm starting with skincare again. I did a PO box unboxing and I showed you guys what I got. And one of the things I got was this Benigma face cream, which is a all-natural face cream. I've been using it since I got it, and I am in love with it. Every time I use this, the next day I wake up, my skin is so plump and it's so moisturized. The way I test this out, like when, I try, when I'm trying out a new face product, is that like I'll do my normal routine and then I'll add that one thing because I'll know that if that's like the thing that's changing it, you know what I mean? So I wash my face, tone, put my cream, and then I do my moisturizer throughout the night. And I kid you not, this thing left me so hydrated and it feels really great and it absorbs very fast so I really appreciate products like that like this absorbs so fast I don't know I don't know how they did this where like I put it on literally in like a minute it's already like it's fucking in there it's in there like swimwear like I don't know okay but but it does have a warning on here that says do not use if you have a known bee allergy it has bee venom in this and it also has manuka honey skincare is one of those like fine lines where I could love a skincare item but you guys could like totally hate it. I absolutely love this product and it, it worked so great for me because I'm not that sensitive in my skin. If you guys are allergic to bees, don't use this. <laughs> Please, don't use this shit. The hard part about suggesting like skincare items is because not everyone's gonna have my same skin type. The reason that even like last favorites I mentioned the first aid beauty is because that is meant for people with all skin types, all um, sensitivities. If you're adventurous and you're cool about trying new things, trying new face creams and stuff, I would definitely, definitely, definitely try this out. Be Enigma all-in-one face cream. Think of the analogy like if you water your soil, you know what I mean? Like in the morning, like there's soil, that analogy as your face, okay? So if you water that soil, it's gonna feel very plump, very moist, very full. Um, if you don't, it's gonna feel cracky and dry. So think of that as your face, and this left me that fullness. My soil is full. So thank you, Be Enigma. I really like that. Shit, I'm hot. I had to take off my jacket, sorry. Let's do some cheek items next. So, for my cheek items, I have three. My dear friend sent me two of the Becca highlighters. She sent me the opal one and the moonstone one. And I'm wearing both of them on my cheeks. They're so good. This is what they look like. Opal, moonstone. As you can see, this one's a lot more warm and golden in tone. This one's a lot more cool tone and silvery. What I love about these highlighters is that they give you a very beautiful sheen to the skin. And don't get me wrong, like the sheen is not like natural. It's not like the hourglass ambient lighting. It's This is very much like, bitch is wearing highlighter. <laughs> 
mine was highlighted, so that's kind of what this will give you. It gives you a really beautiful glow, though, and I really like how, like, even when you turn, like, it gives you that, like, that glowy appearance to the skin, and I think it looks really, really, really nice, and I think it just complements everyone. The one that, if I were to pick one of the two, I would pick Opal, and the reason I'm telling you Opal is because I feel like it matches them more skin tones better than Moonstone. Moonstone is a very cool tone, and if you are much darker in complexion, I think it could look ashy on you guys, so I would try to go towards Opal if you wanted to try it out, but you're darker or medium in tone. Becca is sold in like Sephora, and I absolutely love it. It's absolutely, it's one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever used in my entire life, and I've used a lot. I love highlighters, so Becca highlighters. I love you so much. Thank you for being a favorite of mine. Then the last cheek product is these, oh my god, I love this bronzer. In my PO Boxing unboxing video, I got a bunch of stuff from Galactic, and in that was this Cabo bronzer. This bronzer is so amazing. It is so creamy, so pigmented. I don't know if you can even see. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. This, What I love about this bronzer so much, and the reason why it's in my favorites, is that it's matte, and I love matte bronzers for myself. It's matte, and it's very neutral. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It just gives you this really beautiful shadowy effect and I love using bronzers like that and I think that if you guys are interested in trying a bronzer that's really really great very neutral not too intense not too much like damn look at all the bronzer you're wearing I mean I packed it on today because I wanted to be really hot, like Kim K-ish you dust it into your like kind of contoury places your bronzing places it's gonna be such a beautiful natural look because it's a matte bronzer and so I feel like if you're really in if you're interested in a bronzer that is neutral not too warm not too cool I would definitely 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 try this one out even when you're looking at it now it doesn't look too cool, it doesn't look too warm. It just gives you a very beautiful bronze effect. Try it out, Galactic, amazing bronzer. Love it, it's all jam. Let's do brushes, because there's only three. This month's brushes I've been using non-stop, non-stop. Every time I do my makeup, I've used these every single time. So that's like, for me, like that's, I love it. I know I love it when that's happening. So the first brush is the Morphe M439. This brush is so, amazing at buffing your foundation in. I use like my more full coverage foundations with this and I will go in with it and I'll really literally just kind of beat it in, just run it around look, and look how big it is. Like, it's good for my man face. Like, it's good. I love flat top kabukis. You guys know this. So I was surprised to really love this round kabuki brush so much. It's so ridiculously dense and it really just gives you a really great airbrush finish using any kind of foundation with it and um it's like 14 bucks like nothing crazy and it's just like it's such a great brush morphe brushes are built so 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 well and i also have a code with morphe brushes if you guys were interested it's manny mua you get 10 percent off i mean it's just a little that's a little something something not too crazy but if you guys wanted a little a little discount you guys got one with me but I would definitely suggest using the M439 if you're interested in getting a buffing brush that's really great, really fast, and it's, it's perfect. Another Morphe brush is the Morphe M335, which is basically the mini baby version of that last brush, the buffing brush I used. And the reason I love this brush so much is because it's so little, and I use it for concealer, obviously. And when you're looking at it, like, look how little that is. It's so adorable. Literally, what I just said about the foundation brush and like the way it buffs out, the way it blends into the skin, the way it gives you that airbrush finish, this is does the exact same thing for your concealer. And and I love I love using this brush. I have not used another brush for my concealer in like it's been a minute. It's been a fucking minute. So I really just I like to take it down, buff it into the skin. It takes away the excess concealer so 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 well. So you're not adding like too much. Cause I go I go ham with the concealer. Mom likes to go real heavy with the concealer. And that's what I do. So this takes it away really nicely and it really buffs it into the skin. So I would really suggest doing the M335. Good job, Morphe, with that one too. My last brush is the Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush. This brush I don't use for blush um, at all. I think it's too dense for blush for me. But I love using it for my contour. I contoured with it today. Look at that. Look at that. The reason I love it is because it's a very dense, round brush, it, but it's not too dense. It's not like to the point where it's like, it's not like this, nothing like this. This is like, can't get to the base. This one, like I can, if I really try it, it's much more bouncy. But the reason I love it is because it's not too big and it's not too small for anyone's face, not just mine, but I think it's absolutely great because you can go in from the, I like to go with the bronzer or contour on the side of it, go in with it and then buff upwards and really blend in that bronzer. And it's just, it's absolutely great at getting into those little crevices right between, like right from here. Like that. This one's literally like foolproof. You go in with the bronzer, done. And it's bronze to perfection or contour to perfection, whatever you want. 
but this is an absolutely great brush and I really think that the Makeup Geek blush brush is a steal. I don't think it's too expensive either. Good job, Marlena. You're amazing. Lashes time. Okay, so I have two pairs of lashes in here. The lashes I'm wearing is actually one of the pairs that are my favorites and they are the Blinking Butte number twos. I think they're absolutely just absolutely amazing. They're very, very, very full. They're they're definitely lashes that are like, okay, well, she's wearing false lashes. These aren't like the most natural lashes that I have or anything like that, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I love them. See how they're just flared? I think that's really beautiful, and I love that kind of flared out, open-eyed look. And these just do it automatically for you. So thank you, Blinking Butte. Design number two, they're beautiful. They ain't cheap. I'm just letting you guys know right now, they ain't cheap. But I think they're definitely worth it because these will last me like four months. So, yeah. Um, the second pair, you guys are going to die when you see this. this they, <laughs> they're the House of Lashes in North Ferry. <laughs> so I had said in one of my previous videos that the, the, lash, the House of Lashes lashes are hard to use because the band is so thick and it's very just dense. But, like I said in another previous a video after that was, once they mold your eye, they fit so comfortably, so beautifully. This pair specifically gives you this really nice lifted look, and I've used them, I've used, I've had those these lashes, I've worn them like, like three or four looks already, and I have a lot of lashes, and for me to use them so often is like a big deal for me, so that's why I'm just like so shocked at how much I love them. These are also lashes that are not on the like subtle side. These are more dramatic. These are definitely more on the dramatic side. They're more dramatic than the ones I'm wearing right now. So I would definitely try them out. These are high quality synthetic blends that are handcrafted to perfection. And it's multi-layered. So I just really like these lashes a lot. Um, I think that once you just get past that first use where you like really mold them, really play with them, get them on there, make them stick, um, you'll love them. I really do. I really do think that you'll love them after that. So, but it's just the first time it's a bitch. It is a bitch to put these House of Lashes lashes on. So, yeah. Once you get used, to, you get past that intensity, they are absolutely amazing. And I think, like, now when I put them on, like, it's easy. So easy. Easier than other lashes I have. So, I would suggest Nor Fairy. Pretty. Number one lip product of the month is Lolita Studded Lipstick from Kat Von D. This lips... Oh, my God. It's not that bad. I can't. This lipstick is so... Beautiful. The reason I love this color so much, let me swatch it, is because it's literally like this beautiful pinky brown. This is what it looks like. And it's so nice. And, the re and I have very pigmented, like pinky reddish lips. So with my lips under underneath it, it really makes these this color stand out as more pink. A lot of people, it will look more brown on them. A lot of people will look more pink on them. It just kind of depends on your own lip color showing through. But for me, I absolutely love this color so much. I've worn this so much this month. Like, it's not even funny. Nah. Funny, I don't know. So I absolutely love this one. It's a matte lipstick, matte formula. The formula is definitely, it's not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. It's um, the study lipstick formula is not my favorite lipstick formula. And the reason why is because I feel like when it goes on, it can kind of get patchy. Like you have to definitely go over, like you can even see with this one that it has a little bit of patchiness in the center. And I went over it like three times and kind of annoying. But the reason I love it for so much and I won't, and I'll forfeit the patchiness just with extra layers is because the color is so beautiful and I absolutely love this color. So thank you Kat Von D for Lolita. It's amazing. Yes. Okay, so this next one, I'm just going to swatch them. So the next two products I use together. So the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Button and the Girlactic Lip Paint in Allure. This color combination. Okay, so basically the Girlactic Lip Paint, it's a lip paint. So it's a liquid lipstick. So I'm going to swatch it next to Lolita. It's just so funny because they look so similar. Like this is my tone. Like this is the colors I like. So it looks like this. And Button, let me put a button next to it. It's like a satin lipstick. That's what it looks like. So these two combined, I've been wearing this non-stop. Like, just as much as I've been wearing Lolita. Like, I wear them interchangeably all the time. I wear this combo at MAC all the time. And I get compliments every single day, every single time I'm wearing it. This lipstick, the Galactic one, it dries down so matte. Like, real matte. Like, to every little crack that you have. And then I go over it with the button, which is a satin lipstick. So it gives me this, like, matte look, but it's not super, like, dehydrated matte. But it also gives me, like, this nice, soft, pinky color. So now this is what it looks like in the middle. Basically, if a brand ever asks me to make a lip color, it's gonna look like this. It is so beautiful. I love this color. I love this combination. It lasts all day because of the, the matte lip base as my base. And going over it with this, it just it's just stuck on the lips, and it ain't going nowhere. It's fucking not going nowhere. The Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. So I never, I don't have any other brow gels. Like, I don't know how other brow gels are. I never tried brow gels until the Anastasia team sent me the Anastasia package I got a while back. And they sent me this and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it out. Just go and swipe on some brow gel. 
I love brow gel a lot. So the reason why I like brow gel is because when I'm doing like a more of a no makeup makeup kind of day, like right now, like my brows, I didn't do like no damn fleek brow. This is like brow powder and brow gel, like nothing crazy at all. This is no like no dip brow on or anything like that. So I just did like more of a natural brow for myself. This is what I'll use. Especially if I'm like going to MAC and I don't have anything in my brows, I'll just sweep on this and it's perfect. So for me, my darker hair color, I'll use, I use espresso. But yeah, it's basically like a cool toned brown gel. And I really like it. So think of like brow gel is literally like hair gel. Like the way it dries, it dries kind of like you feel it and it feels kind of like hard. Like not hard, but it feels kind of like crispy. Kind of like, hmm, there's some shit in there, you know? If it kind of feels like that. So I really like the Anastasia one and I really like this colors for me so if you have dark hair like me where it's like darker dark dark brown almost black and I would try espresso or I would try the clear brow gel of course but espresso is the color of my choice almost done okay I have to talk about this I've been <laughs> I have to talk about it. it's a perfect so I a lot of you guys saw if you guys watch my PO box unboxing I had got this little mirror this Manny MUA super adorable like hand mirror it looks like this and you open it up and it has these little lights attached to it you can click it on and you can like basically do your makeup with it you know and so i just i've been using this i showed all my coworkers. i've been using this like literally every single day every time i do my makeup i'm like and then my coworkers will see they're like what the fuck is that i want one and i'm like well, that's too fucking bad. But <laughs> I always tell them, so I tell them like where they can get them. And so thank you, Candy Lover, for making me this. I'm sure she takes orders. So if you guys want to custom make a mirror, hit her up. I just, I absolutely love it. And I think it's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. And I really appreciate you sending this to me. So thank you so much for that. Okay, second to last thing. We're almost done, I swear. The second to last thing is going to be the Morphe Gel Liner in Slate. I have been using this liner so much lately. And the reason I love it so much is because it's so creamy. Okay, so it reminds me of the Fluid Line by MAC, like the how that how it's very creamy and it, you, it, it glides very easily, but it's much more pigmented than the MAC one. The MAC one is like, what, 15, 16 bucks? This one's eight. Are you kidding me? It's so good. What is blacker than that? Tell me what is more black than this gel eyeliner. It's absolutely amazing. It doesn't dry like absolutely matte or anything like that. It doesn't dry super 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 matte, but it does dry matte. I would suggest if you're trying to like, if you have hooded lids like me, I would definitely set this with like black eyeshadow to give you, just to really ensure that it doesn't transfer or anything like that. I, you know what I was saying? Like I like to do wings with liquid. This has made me change my mind. I like to do wings with this gel liner specifically. I love this gel liner. Of course it's from Morphe, so I have a code for it as well. And it's just, I think it's absolutely amazing. A little bit goes such a long way. Look how black that is. Like Morphe. Doing good things to me, making me feel certain things. If you guys are in the field for looking for a new gel liner to try out, to see if you love it, try the Morphe gel liner in Slate. It is so good, so good. And it hasn't dried on me yet, and I've had it for like a month or two. Great job, Morphe. And my last item, okay. <laughs> my last item is going to be Makeup Geek Foil Shadows, which are the bottom two rows right here. The Makeup Geek Foil Shadows are so good. The reason I love them so much is because that they feel like a cream, but they act like a powder. So basically what I mean by that is when you touch them, they feel spongy and they feel very creamy. And when you put them on and you blend them in, they blend like a powder would. They're extremely, extremely pigmented. They're only 10 bucks. This is the row. I'm taking it out of the frame. So I have all 10 and I absolutely love everything. I've swatched every color. I've played with every color. I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, specifically, my favorites are these two, Grandstand and In the Spotlight, are my two favorites from them just because I think they're just... Mm. They just make me, make me feel certain things. And I absolutely love them, and I think that they're so worth the money. Freaking MAC Shadow. It's $16. And this one is 10 And these are way freaking better, dude. Like, they're way better. They don't have no talc. They don't have no damn filler. They're worth the hype that everyone's talking about. I think they're so worth it, and I think that they're absolutely amazing. I'll link them down below. Yeah, Makeup Geek, Marlena, you guys just do such a great job with these shadows. I don't know how you make money off of them. How? They're so good and they're so cheap. I think you guys need to go try them out. Specifically Grandstand and In The Spotlight. Those are my favorite two for sure. But yeah. So yeah, that was it for my favorites video. I think these videos are so fun to do. I don't know, I think they're just they're just fun to do. Like they're, I'm sitting here, I'm talking with you guys. I'm shitting around. Like for me, I feel like it's fun because then I feel like I'm just talking to a friend about products that I really like. So I think that that is really fun. Um, let me know if you guys have any of these products or are interested in them and you end up buying some and use them. I love when you guys tell me that you guys buy, bought some stuff that I suggested to you guys because then it just makes me feel like they like this stuff. 
<laughs> they're like, they stole my line. It's fun, you know, I just, it makes me feel good that I bought them and you guys use them and like them. And it just makes me feel good. I love when you guys tell me. So just please subscribe to me if you aren't already subscribed to me. Like, comment, do your thing. I love reading your guys' comments. You guys are so good to me. <laughs> I tell you guys all the time. Hit me up on all my other social media outlets. I just got a Snapchat. But hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. I love to read you guys' stuff. A lot of people, okay, so a lot of people will send me Snapchats. They're like, why are you opening it and not replying? You guys, okay, I've had Snapchat for two days. When I go look at my little Snapchat thing, it should like with the little, the little eyeball to see how many people saw my snap. It's 7,000. That's 7,000 7, people viewing my snaps, snapping me back, sending me like things that did that. And so I, I have a hard time just opening them, let alone I just, there's just no way I can't reply to all of your snaps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I try really hard to try to reply as much as I can on YouTube and on Instagram and Twitter, but I can't. I cannot bring snap into this replying this because then I'll get carpal tunnel. Like a carpal tunnel, I can't know it. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video, and I'll talk to you guys all soon. I don't know where that exit came from. I don't know where that was from. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you are, and peace out. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> this is really tight. Damn, you Chinese sizes. Yeah, but it's basically just like one of those. Ow! Oh, that hurt me. It's basically like if Lolita and Button had a baby, which is that one, but it's already a baby. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. Titty bounce, titty bounce. Very round, of course that's round, it's a black and brown. Um, not that all brushes are round. I feel like it's hard to just put up how's the lashes last? How's the lashes last? Oh. Mm. Uh, looks like that. That's not really, it looks like fucking shit. I don't know why I swatched it. What? What? <laughs> liquidy almost? Not liquidy, it's not liquidy. That's not no more. Are all of them here? Yes, they are. There's 10 of them. Hmm. Yeah, let's go on. I can't even explain how much they mean. To, they don't mean any, their eyeshadows, how can they mean something to me? What? Tried any of them, they did not, and, why can I talk? I'm saying that all. But yes, without further ado, let's end this tutorial. Um, I hope you all had a good day. I can't fucking. I don't have an accent. What am I doing? So yeah, please subscribe to me if you aren't already, are already. My darker hair, like hair, darker hair, hair.